Okay, everyone, and welcome to another Friday night. How many reviews? Tonight, review will be reviewing the 2012 movie Maniac. Maniac is directed by Frank Colvin, Eric Andrew, George Lovesa as George Kindle, and his stars Noah Alexander. Brian Amherst, America Overall, Gwyneth Alexandra, Ryan Barban, Jane Wahlberg, as well as Elijah Woods. The plot of the film is the same as the original, but some differences. Just when the street seems safe, a serial girl with a finish for scalps is back on the, str on the hunt. Frank is the withdrawn owner of a mannequin store, but his life changes when a young artist Anna appears, asking for his help with her new exhibition. As well as their friend she developed, as Frank observes excellence, it becomes clear that she has unleashed a long term repressed corporation to stalk and kill. As well as all previous reviews, or if we talk about likes, disappointments, dislikes is out for this review. Okay. As well as reviews, or will be starting with likes. I like the, um, the, the director, star on his, in all his version. Frank Colvin has done a good job in his film. There's some different exchange in the story. From Alexandra Arjo, Gregory Lovesa and Joe Spindle. It's, I'm surprised to see Joe Spindle's name here. He played the original Frank. I think that found out he done a good job as Frank. There's not much change, there's not much different change. It's just some kills I remember in the, from, from the original to this. One major difference is when Frank kills one guy blowing his head off and where he scalp a woman in the car and he kills a woman in a bathroom and he scalps her there. So there's not much really other difference I can think. Oh yes and the and where Frank gets killed at the end of the original movie. Basically say it's the original as the grandma back, you know, Frank gets more torn to pieces in the original. Than the, but the same thing happens in the remake, but I found the original it's done a little bit differently. Different type of, you know, effects and stuff. Way the kill get done then. Yeah. I like the um, Frank's relationship with um Anna, with Noel. Who plays Anna. Um, I found they had a nice bond in throughout the film. Nice crystal, you know, they acted quite well. Nice charm, and yeah, they, I found they acted quite well together. And having, um, you know, uh, Elijah Wood playing Frank, um, it's a little bit different for him. You know, in the farm play, he's a place you look at in. In way back in the undergood um, sun and how how he was in that and he you know he played Frodo who were he the hero of the Lord of the Ring movie you know he def he wanted to destroy the ring and but now he's playing a psychotic kill in this and finally done a real good job in the world the kill got effective. There's um, about five, five, six I can remember. You know, they um, all involved in sculpting and first victim, you know, he has not put her throat into her mouth, you know, where she gets sculpt. The next woman he gets strangled. This woman he meets online and he meets her in, in the cafe and 
he, and he goes back to her house, she gets a little bit frisky with him and by getting her clothes off and get down to her lingerie and and he got to, he gets her in, into her bedroom and and this is where he strangles her and scalps her. The next victim is, you know, this young woman who's on a train and Frank on the train and you know, she gets down and he follows her around and she gets really scared and she reaches the station and ends up in a parking lot and where Frank traps and locks her in. Her kill was one of the more gory ones because we see her in first cut her arterial tendon with a big knife and, we, and then he repeatedly stabs her to death and then he scalps her. The next woman who is a friend of Anna, you know, he found out where she lives and he lets himself into her apartment. He tracks her into in the bathroom where she, he knocks her out in the bath by, you know, drowning her slightly and she wakes up, she's bound. This kind of little bit psychotic and where the, you see him rip her hair off when she's awake. This is after they have a small talk and this looks pretty psychotic. Poor Anna, she's the last victim. You think that she will be the last one to loop and get to the cops and tell what's going on. He goes to the apartment and for she, because she found out her friends were killed and she's really upset. And for he's trying to comfort her and stuff. And he kept telling her about a couple more victims and and she gets really scared because the cops didn't mean there was no news of the other victim and she figured out it could have been what's going on. And she gets really scared and. The guy who was in her apartment previously, he hears her screaming and he breaks, in, and breaks the door down and he gets a cleave in the mouth. That was pretty cool. And and then he attacks Frank again and he gets killed and and he, Frank eventually gets in and you know in a curtain and knocks her out and she wakes up the next day in the back of the, the van and and she runs a freak away all the freaked out and runs to a car that had the proto she gets in the car crashes and and for she dies and she, she gets scalped because she's the next one to come Gulp will return to America when you have know, dresses abroad. This is kind of the most gory part of the film. When Frank dies, all his victim that he killed, you know, alive and he's seen alive as zombies and they rip in the pieces. Like in the first film. That was pretty gory. So this film has good gore effects. I gave most of them a CGI though, particularly, you know, Frank's death, either practical effects or some, you know, CGI effects used in this film. The disappointment is, the film goes a bit slow for a while. After the third victim, Frank kind of hangs around with Anna a bit. He goes to, you know, to her art, art, art exhibition and he spends a lot of time in there with her and stuff. And, and it flies back to his mother and himself, rather than like his child. So, um, yeah, the film goes a little bit slow for a while. So the pacing gets a little bit off. Good editing, good pacing, but a little bit off in the, in the third act and 
the second saw his second act and picked up again in the in the last act. Of all, such movies just like the original and fine. A friendship bonds. He gets killed in a story. So um yeah this is a great remake. Now, I'm not sure how to think if this is better than the original, but this one of these remakes is actually very well done, one of the better remakes. And um for a remake and for how the movie was. I grade um the two thousand twelve Manning an eight out of ten. Catch you later. Bye for now.